Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. I have over 30 items to ship out today. I have been kind of slacking on my shipping a little bit. If you've ordered from me recently and your shipment has been a little bit delayed, I do apologize for that. I am kind of having trouble juggling everything between filming, editing, shopping, listing, shipping. It's a lot. That is my priority moving forward, shipping out items on time. So let's go ahead and get into it today. I do have all of my labels printed out. I print them out on my Dymo label writer for XL. And then I handwrite the information on the back saying how the item sold, what I listed it for to relay everything to you guys. I did have a lot of pretty quick sales in this round and you guys know I like to relay what is selling fast, what's hot, what people are searching for. So our first sale of the day is a pair of shorts. These are from the brand Pilcro from Anthropology. They are so cute. They have a striped print and then the lining is, it's a contrast lining with gingham. I've had these listed probably for maybe two or three months now. It has been a little bit, but I think I listed them in cold weather. So that kind of makes sense why they would sit for just a bit because it wasn't because of the style because they are adorable. They're also from the newer tag from Anthropology Pilcro. And so that was exciting. I always love finding a little bit newer pieces. I listed these at $32 and received a $24 offer, which I accepted. That made my earnings $19.20 and my net profit on these right around $17. Okay, next up, a two item bundle. First is this maxi dress by the brand Audi, O-D-D-Y, sorry. Well, O-D-D, it's like an eye with two little leaves on either side of the eye above it. So I'm not sure if that is an eye or a Y. But anyways, it's a maxi dress, floral print. It buttons all the way down, so pretty. I grabbed this from my Family Thrift Center outlet. I paid $2.25 for it. When I got it home, I did notice that it did have a small stain on it. Um, so I just washed it and it kind of came out, but not all the way. And so I took a picture of it and still listed it and it sold. So that was great. Our second and final piece is this Torrid uh, tunic tank. And it has a kind of a defined waist with a little tie, a drawstring at the waistband. These are both really fun spring summer items. Spring and summer is definitely selling now. I have been seeing sandals and shorts and tank tops just kind of fly out of my closet, which is awesome. That's kind of the nice thing about listing spring and summer stuff in the winter time is that when the appropriate season rolls around, it's almost like you've been investing in something that, you know, future you will reap the benefits of, which we love. So when the two of these items were added together, the bundle price came out to $56 and I was offered 47, which I happily accepted, especially with the dress having a small stain. That made my earnings $37.60 and my net profit right around $33. So could not be happier with that. Next we have a tank top. This is from the brand IRO. It's 100% linen and it has this fun lace-up design at the chest. And this sold, I listed it and within like 30 minutes I received an offer on it. So I listed it for 38 and then got a $30 offer, which I accepted. The comps on this were kind of all over the place. Some of them were pretty high, but I wanted to go ahead and get it sold. You guys know I love fast sales. Um, and some of the comps weren't as high. So I think 30 was a great offer for this. My earnings were 24 and my net profit came out to right around $22. 
So for a tank top, I'm happy with that. IRO is a pretty expensive brand. I'm not sure how much that would have retailed for, but it somewhere between $100 and $200. I know that's kind of a big range, but uh, it's a pretty pricey tank top. So I would suggest you guys look for IRO, but I really wouldn't pay up for it personally. I don't know if a lot of people are searching for the brand on the secondhand market, but it does retail for a lot. Okay. Next, we have a really cute dress. This is from the brand Storia. It's a very peasant kind of boho festival piece. Smock chest, tiered skirt portion with mismatched floral prints. This is adorable. Uh, I actually got this from my neighbor. She was moving and cleaned out her closet and she knows what I do, and so she just texted me and was like, do you want eight bags of stuff to look through? Eight trash bags? And I was like, uh, yeah. And she was just going to give it to me, but I was like, no, I'm going to Venmo you uh, $100. So I sent her $100, and there were several things that I listed out of those bags. So that was a win-win. Um, I listed this at 28 and it was a full price sale. I believe it was a full price sale because someone sent me a bundle offer with this dress in the bundle, someone else, and someone who had liked the dress received a notification saying, hey, uh, you know, someone else, another potential buyer just sent Mackenzie an offer on this dress, a bundle offer, so it might sell soon. If you want it, go ahead and, you know, make a move. And so that person came in and bought the dress for full price. So that new feature that Poshmark has that notifies other potential buyers that the item could sell fast and you should make a move, I really like that. I think it really helps out with getting some full price sales or just, you know, getting things moving kind of thing. So yeah, sold full price $28 and my net earnings were $22.40. Okay, we have a jumpsuit from Urban Outfitters here. Adorable. It has a, is this a paisley print? Yeah, paisley print to it. Also smocked at the chest. It's strapless and it's high-waisted has like a wide leg and then splits and ties at the bottom hem. So cute. This would be adorable with like a denim jacket over top and maybe some gladiator sandals. I listed this at $32. And again, I think I, I'm pretty sure I listed this in the colder weather. So it did sit for maybe three months or so. I did receive an offer for 20, which I countered to 25, and that was accepted. These kind of like bread and butter pieces from Urban Outfitters, Free People, Made Well. They're very bread and butter, but they do, but when they do have some cute details, like you know the wide leg, the paisley print, the split bottom hem with the ties, I do usually look for that 25 to 28 dollar price point. My net profit ended up being around $18 on this jumpsuit. We have a 100% linen boxy dolman sleeve oversized blouse top from the brand Tahari. It's in a size large. I mentioned in the haul video that um, I've sold a couple tops like this before and they sell really well for me and this one was no exception. I listed it at 35 and within just a couple days, I got an offer for 31, which I accepted. That made my earnings $24.80 and my net profit right around $23. I love selling Tahari 100% linen. It does so well. Really anything 100% linen this time of year is going to move even if it has no brand. I'm not afraid of purchasing pieces that have no brand, but a good material content or a great style. 
they do, if it is brandless, it does have to have a combination of several sellable factors like the style, the condition, the material. But I do not shy away from brandless items. Sometimes they can sell the fastest for me. Okay, next we have a Duster Link cardigan from Forever 21. I just kind of threw this into my bag at the bins. I didn't really think too much about it, mainly because it is very lightweight, even though it does have a lot of fabric to it. It's like a really loose, open knit that's lightweight. And so, yeah, I probably only paid a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty for this. And again, like I was kind of just saying, even though this is just Forever 21, the style was 100% there. Uh, it's very boho and, you know, it's pretty practical also. Like you could wear just like jeans and a little white tank top and then this over top and it really elevates your look. So I listed this at 25 and someone liked it and so I sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship that was accepted. And so my earnings were $14.62 and my net profit was right around $13.62. I estimated that I paid about a dollar for it, which I might have even paid less, honestly. And those kind of things add up. You know, if you throw five or six very bread and butter $15 items into your cart, I mean, that adds up. Okay, next we have a jacket that I'm going to put into my box number seven because it's kind of bulky. It's the brand Dylan, which someone told me in my comments is from Francesca's. I wasn't aware of that, but I need to look into that. This is a Sherpa moto style jacket with a camo print in a size extra large and it's new without tags. I know that because it still has the extra buttons attached inside. This is so cute. I love this. Very excited to find that. So I just line the bottom of the box with a piece of paper and then I add another on top and then I throw a thank you sticker on and seal it up. So I listed this jacket at 45. Again, someone liked it and so my Posture VA sent out a $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted. My earnings were $29 and my net profit was right around $27 on this jacket. Okay, moving on, we have a pair of teaks. Very exciting find here. I always love finding teaks. That is the brand of these shoes. If you see the teal bottom sole, you want to start running, go throw them in your cart. Uh, these I listed at 125 and that was just kind of a shot in the dark. Comps were a little bit all over the place, so I just kind of wanted to see. Sometimes I'll list kind of high and then gauge how much interest I get after they're listed. Um, I wasn't getting a lot of traffic on these though, and so when I received a $45 offer, um, I think I actually did just decline that because, you know, they were listed at $125 and $45, uh, $45 offer didn't really say to me that they were, like, serious about. I will only decline offers if I feel like we're probably not going to be able to meet somewhere, you know, that would work for both of us. But then they countered back to 60, so they came up $15. And at that point, I did just kind of double check comps to see, okay, what are other teaks in Cardinal Red selling for? And I, I did see several around the $60 mark, maybe like 75-ish. And so I just decided to accept that. I have had them for a little bit now, longer than I've ever had any other Teeks shoes. And so I accepted 60, my earnings were 48, and my net profit was around $46. So that's still an excellent return. And they were a pretty fast sale. I've only had them for maybe about uh, 
two or three weeks now. Okay, I think I might pause here and run these down to the post office and then I will be back. Alrighty, I am back. It's actually been many, many hours later. It's 9.22 right now. Um, I actually went, ended up going to the post office, getting a snack, and then going to the bins and shopping. I just had dinner, so now let's go ahead and finish wrapping up our sales for today. And then I'll go ahead and take these to the post office tomorrow. So next up, we have this Lily Pulitzer 100% Silk tank top. I picked this up for $2 and 20. Actually, I got this a while ago. Uh, my family thrift center outlet recently went up on their pricing by a quarter, but items used to be $2 and I believe this was $2 flat. I mainly got it because, well, people really like the Lily Pulitzer brand, so that was the main thing, but also because it's 100% silk. Because this is just a tank top, it did need a couple sellable factors for me to get it because tank tops are less substantial items. And so if this had been polyester, same brand, same style, I would have left it. But the silk really did kind of elevate the piece a little bit. So I picked it up, listed it for 30 and then I would say maybe like two or three months later, I received an offer of $22, which I went ahead and accepted. That made my earnings $17.60 and my net profit $15.60. Okay, moving on, we have a cardigan from J. Jill. I just had this in a haul video, so it sold very quickly. This has so much going for it. It's size 3X. I've said it so many times, but cardigans are one of my best selling categories by far. It's a neutral color, you know, black matches with everything. It's a linen blend, which is excellent for uh, transitional weather, which is what we are moving into. And it was new attacks. So pretty much every aspect about it uh, was sellable. So I went ahead and listed it at $38. Someone liked it, liked the listing, and so I sent them out a $34 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $24.22 and my net profit right around $22 on this piece. I absolutely love J. Jill, Chico, Soft Surroundings, Eileen Fisher, especially in natural fabrics like linen, cashmere, angora, wool, alpaca. I would say linen, alpaca, and cashmere are my absolute favorite fabrics to find um, in those brands because they sell very, very well. Okay, so this is a definite bolo brand. I've only sold it once in the past, and when I listed it, it was a, an item very similar to these, just a pair of soft and stretchy tie-dye printed like beach pants. I listed those, and they sold within like the hour uh, for full price of like $45. And so these I found recently um, at the bins. Same brand, same style. And I listed them at 65, a little bit higher, just because they sold so quickly last time. And they sold in just a couple days. Someone liked the listing, and so I sent them a $58 offer with discount ship, and that was accepted. So I'm thinking that, and if I remember correctly, there were not, there were no pants similar to this available on Poshmark. They had all already sold. So I guess there's like a high demand for this specific style of like beachy tie-dye printed pants from this brand, Brightly Twisted. I'll put the tag on the screen. You guys should definitely keep an eye out for it because I was thinking maybe the first time I listed them and they sold for full price that it was maybe, you know, someone just saw them and liked the style, but I'm thinking uh, with them selling so quickly again for such a great price that they are in high demand. So my net 
profit ended up being $41.42 on these pants. So that's incredibly exciting. I am looking forward to finding that brand again in the future. I'm claiming that energy. Okay, next we have a dress, a little mini dress with a flutter sleeve. This is Cynthia Rally, which I rarely pick up this brand, but I did get this because it was 100% linen and I'm basically buying any linen that I find that is in a cute style or if it has, you know, if it's 100% linen and has anything else going for it. And, uh, you know, again, the cut of this dress is great for the season. It did have the cute striped print, the flutter sleeves. It had a little keyhole opening in back. So I grabbed it. I listed it at $28. I was offered 20 within just a couple days of being listed. So I accepted that. My earnings were 16 and my net profit came out to $13.75. Again, this is one of those sales that just kind of adds up. I was not expecting to, you know, make a ton of money back from this one dress, but I knew that it would sell and everything adds up. When you're doing this full time and uh, your sales pay all of your bills, you know, everything adds up and every sale is important. Okay, moving on, we have a two-piece bundle. First off is this Ann Taylor sweater. It's a half-zip sweater. This was also a very quick sale. I mentioned in the haul that this specific like neckline is very trendy right now. I've been seeing it like on TikTok. I keep up with a lot of the clothing trends on TikTok and Instagram and just by following various bloggers. When when reselling is your job, you do want to stay up with the current trends. Okay, second and last piece is this pair of 100% linen beach pants from the brand Venus. Again, not a brand that I ever pick up, but these were just too cool to leave behind. They have that whole uh, sand and sky, or sand and water, I guess, or sky, a uh, color scheme going on, and they are linen. They did have some wear at the bottom hems, which I didn't notice at the store, but I still listed them. It's at the very bottom hem, so, I mean, I really don't think it's any big deal. The upper part was flawless, so I think that's fine. I was, so when the two were added together, the bundle price came out to 50 and I was offered 40, which I went ahead and took mainly because the pants were flawed. Uh, that made my earnings 32 and my net profit $27.50. Moving on, we have this bag. I've had this for a while now. I just, just got around to listing it and it sold very quickly. It's like a little woven crochet. I'm not sure what the material is. I really can't tell if it's like a jute kind of thing. It almost looks like, it's like a jute yarn. I don't know if that's a thing. This bag did have wear to the lining. It had some spots and it just kind of generally, you know, had some dirt, I guess you'd say, on the lining, in the lining. Uh, and I just disclosed that. But I didn't want to leave it behind because, you know, the whole cottage core, granny core style has been huge. I did add a ton of keywords into this listing and I knew it would sell quickly. Um, again, reiterating, everything adds up. I listed at 28 and within maybe like within five days of being listed, I would say I received an $18 offer, which um, I think I, I think I counter to 25 
and then they countered back to 22 maybe. Anyways, it sold for 22. And so my earnings were $17 and 60 cents and my net profit was around $15 on that bag, which, you know, I'm happy to save it from a landfill, find it a new home. It is super cute. Okay. A four item bundle now. First piece is this Bella doll flat up. I was combining flannel and plaid, uh, plaid, <laughs> button down shirts with kind of a bell sleeve, very soft. This was a relisted item. I re I've had it for probably about a year now and I recently relisted it and it sold within a couple days. So do your relisting. If you don't use Posture VA, it relists for you. I just go in every day and I type the amount that I want to, that I want to relist like 15 to 20 items and you just click start and it automatically relists as many items as you tell it to and then it deletes the old listing and I've had so many sales from that. If you're not using Posture VA, you can sign up with my code McKenzie20. It gets you 20% off uh, your first month, I think. Actually, I think you get two weeks free and then 20% off your first month. But anyways, uh, highly recommend it. Uh, second piece is this really cute like gingham printed boxy button down shirt and the buttons on this top are pretty much my favorite thing ever. They're little like floral acrylic buttons, very nineties, very Y2K, almost kind of clueless vibe with this, but you could definitely kind of make it grunge. Third piece is from anthropology. It's T La or T L A this hot pink slub cotton long sleeve. This has the raw seams or inverted seams, I guess you'd say. So some like fraying going on. And then lastly, a tank top from Lululemon. This is really cute. It has a side slit so you can tie these two sides together and you have like a little tie there or you can just wear it open. This is so soft. I think it's like a Pima cotton blend. So when the four of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $102 and I was offered 91, which I thought was fair. I accepted that. My earnings came out to $72.80. I paid around $8.75 for everything. And so my net profit was right at $64 for this bundle. The gingham top with the acrylic floral buttons I actually purchased for myself but it was like a little too boxy on me I guess you'd say it didn't it wasn't super flattering on me so I decided to list it and like I said the Bella doll shirt was a relisted item so I was super excited to move these pieces out and make a pretty good profit on them a two-piece bundle here. First off is this MWL by Madewell. It's like a new line from Madewell that stands for Make Weekends Longer, which is cute. This is a very cozy, soft, comfy sweatshirt, also kind of boxy. I love the tortoiseshell buttons on this. I think they're so cute with the cream combo. And lastly, this printed tie-dye jumpsuit from Jaffna, size medium, 100% rayon. It has ruffles at the bottom hems, wide leg, so adorable, very beachy. The bundle price for these two was $60. And I was offered 45, which I accepted. My earnings came out to 36. And my net profit was $31.50. I've really been liking this Jaffna brand. I would kind of lump it in with like OMG and Altered State. Uh, it sells very consistently for me usually based on style, I would say. 
Uh, the piece does have to have quite a bit going for it for me to pick it up. Like this jumpsuits uh, sell very well for me. It had the wide leg, it had the tie-dye print, the ruffle at the bottom hem. You know, if this had just been a plain black jumpsuit from the same brand with, you know, like a straight leg or something, I would have left it. But the combination of everything, I was happy to grab it at my local family thrift center outlet for $2.25. Okay, next we have a quintessential spring piece here. This is a 100% linen sweater from J. Crew. I absolutely love this color. It's a gorgeous kind of teal color. And I found this new with tags also from, oh, I folded it backwards. Also from the Family Thrift Center outlet. I often find a lot of new with tags up there. I'm not sure. I have no idea where they get their inventory from. Like I know Goodwill Outlet, it's, you know, donations, but I'm not sure if Family Thrift like buys it from somewhere or what. I think they do. And I'm not sure where the people who they buy it from, where they get it from. So I'm not, yeah, I would love to know more about that because there's always so many new tag pieces. And a lot of them are like new, like this was from 2020 or 2021, I want to say. I listed it at 45. Someone liked it, so I sent a $40 offer with discount ship. That was accepted. My earnings were $29 and my net profit was $26.77. So awesome find there. I hope the buyer loves it. That's such a great piece. Next, okay, same kind of thing. New tags from the same store. Olivaceous maxi dress. So pretty. This has so much happening. It ties at the shoulders and the chest. It's a tiered body. Has an all over floral print with a color block bottom hem. And with the style of this, I added so many keywords into the listing like boho, festival, cottage core, granny core, um, you name it. I use the keyword. I'm running out of tape here. Let me change this roll out. This uh, tape dispenser, I know I've talked about it so many times, but it's one of my favorite office supplies piece. It holds packing tape and scotch tape, double duty. And I just really like it. It makes things so easy. I do have a link for it in the description of this video. This dress, this olivaceous maxi dress, I listed at 40. Someone liked it, and so again, my Posture VA sent out a $36 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $25.82, and my net profit $23.57 on this dress. Oh, already got... This is what happens when I ship and film after 9.30. This is getting into my bath time. <laughs> I'm usually in the bathtub by 9.30. And then in bed around 10. But I did have a long day today. Okay, next we have a, another 100% linen piece. This is from the brand Cutloose, which I do love this brand. It's on the same wavelength as Flax or Bren Walker, I would say. This has a little micro polka dot print to it. And it's longer in the front than it is in the back, which I thought was really interesting. This top was a smaller size. I think it was like a small. And I, I like to 
pretty much exclusively by this brand in larger sizes. But because this particular piece had so much going for it with the print and the cut to it, and the sleeves were kind of an interesting cut as well. Uh, I just, I went ahead and got it. It just seemed like it would appeal to a lot of different people. I listed it at 32. And within just a couple days, I got an offer of 21. I did counter that to 25. And they countered back to 24, which I went ahead and took. That made my earnings $19.20 and my net profit around $17. Okay, moving on, we have a jacket from Columbia. This is actually new with tags. It's an interchange jacket, so it's supposed to have a lining or like a, a lighter weight jacket that zips into the inside of it. And then you can take this like shell off and just wear the other jacket, but this is missing the shell. So I listed it pretty low. This was another piece that I got from my neighbor. I mentioned it earlier in the video. She gave me like eight, ba eight trash bags full of stuff and this was in there. So I didn't really know what to do with it because it was missing the inner jacket. So I just, I listed it at 35. I just kind of wanted to move it out. I've had it just kind of laying around and it's kind of bulky and we're moving out of winter time. So yeah, I listed at 35 and I would say within like a week, I got an offer of 20, which I did counter to 30 and that was countered back to 25, which I went ahead and took. I was happy to just get $20 out of this and move it out. Like I said, it was bulky, it was taking up space. So yeah, I made back 20 on this. Maybe the buyer already owns the inner jacket or maybe they're going to buy it separately. But I mean, it's a really nice jacket. It's from Columbia, which is obviously a reputable brand. We have this Bella Doll velvet blouse top. It's cinched at the neckline which is really pretty this is a silk blend and it's the newer tag from bella doll so for those two reasons and the style of it i did want to grab this i thought i saw a fuzz i did want to go ahead and get this at the bins and it's pretty lightweight i probably only paid about a dollar for it i listed at 30. i sent out a 27 dollars offer with discount ship that was accepted. And so my net profit came out to right around $18 on this top. Which I'm pretty happy with. I kind of considered not getting it just because Bella Doll can sit for me. But I love the color of this and it was a silk blend and um, I just liked it. So I'm happy I did because it didn't really take all that long to sell. I think next time I find new newer tag Bella doll, I will just I will not have as much hesitation because this piece did sell rather quickly. We have this vintage free people dress with these color block stripes and then lace up detail in back. It also has beading at the neckline, which is really pretty. And I did add again like 90s Y2K keywords into this this would be so cute with like a chunky shoe and like a 90s style purse just go all out it kind of gives me like lizzie mcguire vibes which i am all about so i listed this at 32 uh, again, someone liked it, so my Posture VA sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship. Uh, that was accepted, so my earnings were $19.42. And my net profit was right around $17 on this dress. Let me grab the new thank you sticker roll. I have learned over my many years of reselling that 
whenever you run out of something, you always, or no, before you run out of something, like so I just picked up a new roll of this. I already have another two pack roll of these because, um, you know, you never want to be caught without supplies. So I'll probably go ahead. Well, once I get onto, once I finish this roll and then maybe the next roll and I have one roll left, I'll go ahead and order another two pack because you want to stay ahead. You want to stay ahead of yourself. <laughs> That's the secret. Moving on, we have this pair of Mark Fisher heels. These are really cute. I'm probably a little bit biased because I purchased these myself retail from DSW. I could have just returned them to DSW, but I just didn't really feel like it, so I just listed them on Poshmark. I probably paid around $30 for them. I never wore them because I got them home and realized they're just too high of a heel for me. And I didn't want to mess with it. I'm a very low maintenance, practical shoe person. And I don't really know what I was thinking when I bought these. I was being uh, a little too overzealous, I guess you'd say, with my shoe capabilities. Uh, but yeah, I listed these at 35. Someone offered me 20. And... I counted back to 25 and they counted back to 22, which I accepted. And so I made back $17.60 on these shoes. So I was just happy to make something back because I really was just too lazy to go return them. Uh, and yeah, so that's a perk of reselling. You can just throw something online instead of driving back somewhere. Okay, another pair of shoes. These were not purchased by me. These were from a thrift store. They are Steve Madden. They're the Brave Booties. They have a leather upper and it's like a snake skin. Really pretty shoes here. Uh, and they are in excellent condition. They look like they were worn a couple times if that these were also for my family thrift center outlets and i did purchase these a while ago i probably had them for about six months now i would say i had them listed at 58 and i was offered 36 which i accepted i was happy with that my net profit was around $27. And these are really gorgeous shoes. Add thank you sticker. This box I'm using is my 1095 box. I ship a lot of shoes in here. I don't like the USPS designated shoe box because it's not self sealing. So you have to use supplies you have to use a lot of tape to tape it up and also the the shoe box is wider and so the shoes can kind of move around more like if you hear this when i shake it the shoes don't move so there's less room for damage or less potential for damage in a more narrow box in my opinion so yeah i don't i don't really ever use the usps shoe box Okay, next we have a pair of pants. These are from Talbot's. They're the Chelsea Crop, size 16 and 100% linen. And they have little buttons at the pockets. So I was actually really excited to find these. I know they're just kind of random, but plus size Talbot's, 100% linen. They have cute details to them. They're in excellent condition. I think these were new without tags. I was thrilled. I listed at $34 and I would say within two or three months I was offered $23, which I accepted. That made my earnings $18.40 and my net profit around $16.40. So these are an excellent summer pant. 
neutral color. You can really wear anything with these. You could dress them up, dress them down, dress them all around. I think I'm getting a little delirious at this point. Okay, our last couple sales. We have a Bryn Walker, again, 100% linen. I believe this is maxi dress. It could be midi though. I can't remember right now. It has pockets. Really pretty piece here. This was probably 150, maybe 180, possibly around 200 retail. Bryn Walker is very expensive. Um, and this was in pretty good condition, so I did list it at $50. If this had been a more kind of universal color, like a black or cream or, you know, tan, brown, I probably would have listed closer to 75 ish because it is a maxi dress. But because the red color, I would say, is not as appealing to as wide of an audience uh, I did list it a little bit lower at 50 and I would say maybe after a month of being listed I received a $32 offer which I accepted my earnings came out to $25.60 and my net profit was $23. So anytime I have a specific kind of characteristic, I usually check comps. Like I, you know, just from selling Bryn Walker in the past, I was familiar with the price point. I knew that maxi dresses would sell for 50 to 75 ish, I would say. But I wasn't sure about red maxi dresses. And so that was why I specifically checked comps when I got that $32 offer. And other red colored linen Bryn Walker maxi dresses had sold around that $30 to $35 mark. So that was why I was with ha I was happy with the $32 offer. So I hope that makes sense. I do take all aspects of the piece into consideration when I'm checking comps and trying to determine the market value, I would say. Okay, so our last sale was very exciting. I will include a picture of this on the screen. I already have it all uh, packaged up in plastic here, but this is a tapestry. It's gorgeous. You know what? I think I'm going to need to use a different box. This isn't really fitting, but I definitely have a box somewhere over there for, for it that will fit it well. Uh, so I'll find that in a minute, but I found this at the bins. It's a gorgeous tapestry. It has like a horse novelty print. This would be so cool hung up in like a ranch or, you know, someone's kind of farmhouse type situation. And it, I mean, it was just so, so pretty. So I had to grab it. I paid $8.30 for it. I did weigh it out and uh, determine the weight. Here in Houston at my Goodwill outlet, they charge $2.19 per pound. And it ended up selling full price today for $95, which I was so happy with. I've had it for probably six months, I would say. My earnings were 76 and my net profit was $67.70 on this tapestry, which I could not be happier with. That just kind of goes to show, you know, think outside the box if you're, especially if you're at the bins or somewhere where you're paying a lower price for stuff, take chances, take risks. And, you know, if you're really drawn to a piece, chances are someone else will be too. And so, yeah, that's my little two cents on that. I did have one last sale that I don't have here with me that I'm going to talk about. It's an Altazara Alt sweater. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. It's really pretty. It has ruffles at the neckline. I don't have it here because I was planning on modeling it, but it sold before I had a chance to, so that was great. I got an offer of 50, which I accepted. I think I had it listed at 75. So my earnings were 40. I paid $2.25. And so my net profit was, what is that? 37.75, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with that. That was my first time selling that brand. And I think that is absolutely everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye y'all.